Welcome back, boys and girls. You are about to watch the next bar model video, which is on subtracting. The first video that you watched was about addition. Before we get started, I wanted to go over some vocabulary words that we talked about in the first video. The first word is parts. In a bar model, there are always two parts. Those two parts always create one whole bar. The next word is label. In a bar model, you always have to label everything. You have to label the bars with words, or with numbers, or with question marks. But everything needs to be labeled. The next, the last word is brackets. Brackets are what you use to help you label the bar models. The last word that I wanted to remind you about was real world problems. Real world problems are basically just math problems written in words. Okay? So let's begin. The problem that we have here to solve is 9 minus 4 equals, I don't know, a question mark. So with the subtracting bar model, you always start with the whole bar. Notice here, according to our problem, it says 9 minus 4. So we have 9, 9 bars. So let's go ahead and label that with brackets and a number. We have 9 bars. 4 of these bars are going to go away. This is a going away subtracting bar model. So these four here that are going away, we're going to label that going away. Okay? And this blue part here, we're going to label that what's left. Okay? So I'm going to continue labeling everything with brackets and numbers going away what's going away four is going away and this blue part is left and since we don't know the answer yet we're going to label that question mark i don't know okay so let's look at our subtracting bar model everything's labeled everything is where it should be so we have our whole which is nine and then we have this part here that's going away. That's 4. Then we have this part that's left. And we don't know the answer. Okay? So I'm going to look at my problem. 9 minus 4 equals. So I'm going to count 9, take away 4. That's 8, 7, 6, 5. My answer is 5. Once I have figured out my answer, I'm going to go to my question mark and I'm going to label that with the, with the correct answer. And that essentially is a subtracting bar model. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to read a real world problem. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. This is Superama has 534 apples. They sold 313 apples. How many apples are left? Okay, first of all, this right here is a clue. If, some, if they are asking you what is left, usually that means something is going away. And if something is going away, then that means that we're subtracting. That's a clue yet, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to set up my bar model. Okay, so we are starting with our whole bar. And that whole bar that we're starting with is 534. Because that's how many apples Superama had. Superama started with 534 apples. They sold a part of it. A part of those apples. They sold... 313 apples. 
Okay, so now we have our bar model into two parts. What I sold, and I'll label that. This is what I sold, or what they sold, sorry. And this part is going to be labeled what's left. Okay, and if I look back at my problem, I'm going to read it again because that's what I do when, whenever I don't know what my next step, I always read my problem again. So I'm going to say, let's see, Superama has 534 apples. Good. That's what I started with. They sold 313 apples. Good. This is what they sold. This is what's going away. And now it's asking me how many apples are left. Okay. So this part is going to be labeled question mark because I don't know the answer to that. That's my question that I need to solve, okay? So if I look at my bar model and I look at the clues from my story, I have to subtract. When I have a whole and I have a part that's missing, that means I have to subtract, okay? That's very important to remember. That when a part is missing from a bar model, that usually means you have to subtract, okay? Remember that. So here, now I'm going to show my work and I'm going to solve my problem. So 534 subtract 313 my answer is let's see 4 minus 3 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 and 5 minus 3 is 2 okay so this number here is my answer this is how many apples are left I'm gonna go ahead and label that now because now I know my answers. <clears throat> so let's look at our bar model. This is our complete bar model. This part is what's left after this part goes away. This whole thing up here is what we started with. Okay? This is a complete bar model with numbers, question marks, and words for labels. Okay, before I say goodbye to you, I want to talk to you about our checklist. When you are doing a subtracting bar model, please remember to label using words, label using numbers with brackets, label with a question mark, and show your work. Okay? I'm glad you listened to our video, and I look forward to hearing your comments and your questions on Google Classroom. See you later. Bye.